Welcome sa sipnain.com This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on converting fractions to percent. Pangalawang video na natin ito, no? Uh, sa previous video, pinag-aralan natin yung mga different methods in uh, uh, converting fractions to percent, no? Una, uh, we have uh, by multiplication, no? Uh, lagyan ko pala ng pangalan to, no? Although na hindi ko maalala kung pinangalanan ko ito before, no? Uh, sa previous video. Now, pag sinabi kong by multiplication, uh, yan ay we multiply the denominator and the numerator of a fraction uh, with the condition that yung kanyang product ng denominator ay magiging 100, no? So, you multiply 4 by, by something so that 4 becomes so the product becomes 100. No? So, gawin natin yung example 1 tsaka number f example 4. Now, hindi lang yung multiplication by multiplication and and division. Kasi pwede ka naman mag-divide. No? So, for example, here, yung 1 fourth, anong i-multiply natin para maging 100 yung kanyang uh, denominator? I think madali lang, no? alam natin na 25. Para maging 100 siya, mag-times mag, uh, 25 tayo. And of course, whatever we, whatever we multiply dun sa denominator, ganun din yung multiply natin sa, sa numerator natin. So this becomes 25 over 100. Na pag 100 na yung denominator, yun na yung number sa taas, yun na yung percent natin. So this is 25 percent. Na may pagkakataon na mas malaki yung uh, denominator sa fa sa 100, no? For example, 35 over 100. So instead of multiplication, division na siya, no? So 35 over 500. Ano ang i-divide natin sa 500 para maging 100? Di ba 5? So pag dinivide mo to ng 5, i-divide mo rin ng 5 sa taas, no? Yung sa numerator natin. So, divided by 5, divided by 5. This becomes 7 This becomes 7 over 100. Okay? That's why, that's uh, yung method 1. Yung method 2 na pinag-aralan natin is by um, equivalent fractions. So, na, kung naalala nyo yung lesson natin on fractions, uh, gumagamit tayo ng equivalent fractions para gawing, uh, gawing similar yung dissimilar fractions. No? Para ma-add natin sila kasi pag dissimilar fractions, hindi mo sila pwedeng i-add na diretso. No? Kaya, kaya ginagawa natin, ginagawa natin yung LCM para maging equivalent fractions sila. No? O para makuha yung equivalent fraction para ma-add natin. No? So dito, kukunin natin yung equivalent fraction ng 2 fifth, pero yung condition again natin is that the denominator should be 100. So ano ngayon yung uh, ating numerator? Naalala nyo pa, i-divide natin yung 100 sa 5 and then we multiply the the quotient by 2. Kung ano man yung quotient na yun. So 100 di divided by 5, that's ilan? 20 times to 40. So this is equal to 40%. Okay. Now, paano kung medyo mahirap gawing uh, 100 yung denominator niya? So, by ano na, by, by uh, division, by dividing manually. So, pag nag-divide tayo manually, magiging decimal muna yan, kuwari 3 divided by 8, no? Uh, by the way, huwag niyong babalita rin. Baka mamaya mag-8 over 3 kayo. Kung ano yung nasa ilalim, kung ano yung ating denominator, yun yung ating divisor. Yun yung nasa labas ng, ng division sign. Kung ano yung nasa ibabaw, nandito yung nasa loob. No? Huwag niyong babalita rin kasi siyempre magkakaiba ng maiba na sagot yan. No? So 3 divided by 8 cannot be. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng decimal point dito. At magkakaroon tayo ng 0 dito. No? Pwede. And then we add another 0 para ma-divide natin. So 30 divided by 8, that's 3, no? 
So, magiging 24. We subtract. This becomes 6. Um, cannot be. We still add 0. Kaya tayo mag-add ng 0. And then, 60 divided by 8 is 7. 7 times 8 is 56. Then, we subtract. We have 40. 40 divided by 8 is 5. So, we subtract. So, equal, this is equal to 0 0.375 in decimals. No? Pero, kailangan natin yung percent. So, ano gagawin natin? We multiply the decimal by 100. So, pag decimal to percent, we multiply the decimal by 100. This becomes 37.5 percent. Pag nag-multiply ka kasi, mauusod yung decimal natin. Ang dalawang units doon sa kanan, papuntang kanan. So, this is your... Um, equivalent in uh, percent. Our last number, pag meron kang whole number na gagawin mong percent, a whole number plus fraction, automatic yung whole number mo. Ano na yan? Times 100%. So, this is already 600%. Ibig sabihin yung 3 over 20 na lang yung gagawin natin. So, yung 3 over 20 is ano pinakamadali? Gusto nyo? Pinakamadali yata ito, no? So, 3 over 20 o yung, yung multiplication. Magkakaroon tayo ng 3 times over 20 times ano? 5, di ba? Para maging 100. So, maging 5 din to. So, this is 15 over 100 which means that this is equal to 15%. So, 600% plus 15% that's equal to 615%. Okay? So, yan, no? yan yung tatlong method sa pag-convert uh, ng, ng fractions to percent. Pag wala na talagang choice, you divide manually. No? Pero kung habang may choice kayo na pwede yung gamitin, kung dalawang to, mas mabilis. Yung method 1 saka method 2, mas okay siya. No? Okay? So, yung pinaka-last resort, yung last method natin is to convert the fraction to decimal and then uh, multiply by 100 para maging uh, percent siya. Okay, maraming salamat. I hope na kayo sa video na to. Uh, gusto ko yung invitesdesign.com, yung ating uh, website. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa ating channel by clicking the subscribe button. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.